Never mind the hype, it's at Roadburn Festival 2018. There we get the chance to sit down with Julie Christmas and Johannes from Cult of Luna. When we go to the festival, we need to go to Kuldutak. It's kind of a, yeah, it's, it's a kind of a yeah, internal joke amongst us. A well, joke is an eternal thing. We need to go there. Um, so yeah, we haven't been there yet, though. So yeah. But well, one good thing about this festival is that you discover things that you. I mean, you know that everyone that's here playing are good in their field. And last time, like me and my friend, we discovered this amazing band from Finland called Abyssion. We were literally, and I'm being, standing there with our jaws open, like, what the hell is this? Ah, I just want to see them every night for the rest of my life. Amazing band. I agree with him. I think that the that almost in a in a festival like this, you want to see like the openers every night, like the first three bands. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Every band that 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 play here, they have the Walter stamp of approval on them. Yeah, and you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> the tour we did in Europe, that was very, it wasn't rushed at all, but it was so unexpected and we didn't know how things would go, if things would work out live and all that. So it, 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 and it was all also only five shows. So we didn't really get warmed up until like the like US. Four, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it felt good to have like a final show in Europe to be able to, to end it. <laughs> go out in flames. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd never met them until we started to practice for our shows, which is nuts. So we we basically wrote a whole record, and it's and I it, it, there were a lot of things that were pretty crazy about it. It, it started off with one song, one idea, and then um, it just built kind of naturally. And then, but it's very strange to to make a whole record with people. Now that now that um, everything is digital, you know, people don't have to be in the same room to work with other people, and that's great for a lot of different reasons. It is strange when you make a whole record and <laughs> release it and never actually meet the people in the band. So that's kind of what we did. And um, one thing I have noticed is that, you know, at a time when most bands would be practicing to make things right like he said that we were trying to figure everything out in the Europe European tour so we were practicing like but there were shows where people were there <laughs> you know it's, it's kind of strange but yeah. just because of the number of times that we actually played together I think by the time we played for the first time in Europe it was like the fourth time we played so that that was a little interesting the question you want to ask, why did we want to work with Julie? And uh, the answer is... Cheapest. Well, yeah. <laughs> she finally f figured that out. <laughs> uh, like, look, I'm, I'm, too expensive. <laughs> look, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. And before I asked her, like, The Bad Wife, it was in constant rotation. Yeah, I listened to it. Many times. My only answer is I, I hope not, but I, I don't. Uh, I, I I don't. I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do in a couple of weeks, but I really would love to work more with Julie. But yeah, we'll see. And now uh, her answer is gonna be very <laughs> decisive. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I would love to work with these guys again. Just, I, I think, um, I, I think what would be interesting about it is that no one ever does their best work on their first record. Do you know what I? I mean, that would be the most the the most compelling thing for me is that we hadn't even met and we wrote the record. So it, it's interesting to think about what would happen if now that we actually know each other's names. You know? <laughs> it could be different. I don't know how 
how many times I've heard, like, look, I love music. Not really in love with the vocals. And with Julie, which is, in my opinion, one of the best vocalists in, in, in the business. Um, <laughs> we, we, maybe we were able to trick them into to, to our, yeah, yeah to our, our universe. The only reason we started playing the record was because so many people wanted to see it. It was there was not yeah. a plan to to ever do it live until uh, the response to the record from people, not press, um, was that it was very um, that people wanted to see it live. So that was that's the reason to do it. I, I like hate comments. I like look for the hate ones. <laughs> yeah, you did. You, you used to send really send me some comments, but juicy. not many. I was expecting no. way more. There are lots of awesome, just beautiful hate <laughs> um, comments. I, I'll, I'll give you some after, because I have like a list to make me laugh. <laughs> but there's way more love than hate. Than, mm. yeah, that's why we're here. But I do respect hate, though. I do. I, yeah. I respect it. I, I, I love I passionate people. I frequently indulge in hate. So. <laughs> This is my take on it, is that, uh, yes, there need to be more females on stage, period. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, national explanation why there are, aren't as many females on stage as it is male. I don't know if you should let somebody on stage because of their gender. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I, that being said, I do think that, that there are lots of hidden talents talented women who are maybe don't step up as much but and I definitely wish there were less men that I see like at every show it's like <laughs> a bunch of suckers who could just you know. <laughs> it's not like we need more women just, we need just, less men yeah, we need, yeah. that's what I think I think we need less men <laughs> yeah I'm not I'm not saying that it needs to be a 50 50 uh, you know thing on stage but at least I think that promoters and we all need to to do our best to lift up the, the females that are out there and, and, and do this and to give them a stage to play on, give them an audience and make that like a conscious decision from all of us. So. His answer is very loving. It's like a supportive, let's, I do think we should do more to support women. And I think that that would go far. But I think it starts earlier because yeah. how many men do you know start playing music when they're young? They all do. I mean, you know, probably everybody playing today had a teenage band. I did as well. If we are going to inspire girls to start a metal band, they need to have role, mo role models. We're not, we're not in an area where people are like, you're not getting on the stage because you're a woman. That's not, that doesn't happen anymore. I think that women have to bring it out of themselves and step up yeah and, and in order to 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 make that easier we need to take a step back man yeah. i agree let's do that yeah. everybody <laughs> <laughs>